Hello YouTube, it's me Justin, June 15th, 2018. Uh, I want to do a little rant, I guess you would say, um, in regards of the delusional far left, the elitist, people, the, the Hollywood elitist, um, liberal elitist. Now I uh, saw this news article the other day about Bill Maher. Um, if you're not familiar with him, he's a very foul, sick, disgusting human being, foul mouth, just the way he talks. Um, the man is worth over a hundred million dollars and I'm not sure exactly how much money he makes, um, once a week on his, his, um, his show, but his far left ideology is very extreme. And um, on one of his shows the other day, he was talking about how good the economy was and that he hoped and is wishing for an economical collapse. So that would help impeach Donald Trump, President Trump. This goes to show you how out of touch with reality the elite are and they do not care about the middle class or the poor and um, you know you have these Hollywood stars that all they talk about is you know uh, President Trump's horrible and you know America's going um, uh, he's just destroying America and blah 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 and you know California has some of the most horrific homeless camps like Tent City and all that. I mean, just not far from good old Hollywood. And these, they talk about how righteous they are. And, you know, there's so many of them are so far, they're Luciferians, you know. Like Jay-Z has that song, I Sold My Soul to the Devil, and uh, even Eminem. And it's just all these real wealthy, far-left elitists that you know these Hillary supporters and just how hypnotized they are and out of touch with reality that they are when it comes to the American people as a whole they're just a group you know the one percenters and maybe um, a little less but these extreme wealthy far left liberals that you know I mean for Bill Maher to to you know, even say to the screen, "Sorry if it hurts your feelings." Well, yeah, a, a recession is not going to bother you one bit because you're you're worth a fortune. You know, you constantly uh, bash um, religion, God. You're you know you're proud to be an atheist. You must have sold your soul to the devil because you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, um, you're a sick, foul human being. Um, you talk trash about this country, you know, get on a plane, go fly and live in Liberia. You'll be rich there, well taken care of if you survive the first couple of days. But um, anyways, these Hollywood elitists, you know, they want to do so much and trash Trump. We'll get off your butts and uh, go there, go down to Tent City and all these homeless folks and, uh, you know, chip in a million, two million. You know, don't put it into a... Um, some type of organization or um, Clinton foundation, you know, use that money, go directly there, scoop them people up, build a, a big housing unit for them, do something. You're not going to do it because you're greedy, you're satanic, you're a bunch of hypocrites, you're not Christian, you have no relationship with God. And you're sick human beings. I mean, all these people that so are so hypnotized with the Clintons, this you know these women marches, and they all Hillary's the best. Um, do they realize what Hillary did to all these women and how she attacked all these women and just ruined their lives? The ones that made allegations against Bill Clinton of rape and um, you know sexual assault and. Now she wants to jump on the Me Too bandwagon and act like she gives the crap. And then, you know, the homosexuals think that she's a goddess. 
Do, do they realize how much money she took from Saudi Arabia and other Muslim countries that execute homosexuals? I, I don't get, I don't understand the fog that is surrounding the far left and these people that idolize the Clintons and, you know, just these elite globalists. They have no idea what they their agenda is. And their agenda is for a one world government, a new world order. They want to be royalty. They want to be kings and queens and gods and goddesses and kill off a huge portion of the country and they and we as mere peasants. And they don't know this. They don't understand it because they're too busy watching fake news, CNN and other stuff and not opening, you know, thinking outside of the box and doing their own research. So it's just a shame. But that Bill Maher just, you know, thought about it and thought about it. And then I seen another thing on TV about it and I just watched him. He's just pure evil in the way he laughs, you know, you know, our, our economy is doing pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's really doing good. I mean, I hope, I wish for a recession. I hope the bottom drops out because that's, if that's the only way to impeach Donald Trump, then I'm all for it. Yeah. And then you hear people in the audience clap. Just sickening. So, yeah, I mean, it's just, this, this country is so divided and it's a well orchestrated plan, you know, from the elite to divide our country and create civil unrest in the future. And we're awful near to that point. So, I mean, it's inevitable. If you believe in the Bible, if you have a relationship with our Heavenly Father and you believe in Christ, then you know that these days are coming. But just to watch it, it's just like, and then just so many sheep following. I mean, how could you not know the corruption, the Clinton family corruption and all the corruption with the Obama administration and all these uh, secrets that are being exposed. You know, it says in, towards the end times that, you know, all secrets will be exposed. Basically, it's not the exact way it says it, but um, but it's true. And uh, it was Paul Manafort that ran the Trump campaign or helped in the uh, campaign. Now he's uh, locked up in jail right now and they refused him bond or revoked his bond. So he's got to sit there now so he can't testify. Just so much corruption in Washington from the elite. And um, I don't know, just uh, put on your seat belts and keep your head on a swivel and it's going to be a wild ride. Like I said in the beginning, 2018 was going to be a wild ride, and it's shown to be, and uh, it's going to continue. So, anyways, that was my little rant. The far left um, elite with pockets and pockets full of ungodly amount of money. If you really did care about the people, these athletes that take a knee, you know, what are they doing for the community outside of, uh, you know, a lot of them do good, but a lot of them don't. But, um, yeah, drive down there in your Mercedes or your Lamborghini and uh, bring a suitcase with a couple million dollars. It's not going to hurt your bank and start handing it out. I'll put it in a Clinton uh, foundation or so it can go towards uh, child trafficking sex trafficking, and other corrupt, evil, disgusting, satanic uh, things they use that money for. It's corrupt, dirty money. So, anyways, on a lighter note, I just wanted to do that. I just had to vent. It's just disgusting. But that's what uh, us Christians are up against. It's no big deal. No fear. See who has the last laugh in the end. But I pray for people that have no relationship with God. And I hope they do find that relationship. Soon. Very soon. So. Anyways. Uh, oh and to all you trolls that come across this channel. And leave your nasty comments. Jesus. Even loves you. Fear no man. Never fear death. Get right with God. 
fight the good fight and stay locked and loaded 100%. God bless. Much love. Later.